Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So glad that you stopped in. If you like, press the like button and please subscribe. It does help my channel out a lot and I appreciate it. And God bless you and you are a blessing. Well, the Coast Guard in poor Sweden has got a job on their hands. On Tuesday, the Swedish prosecutor in charge of handling the investigation into leaking pipelines in the Baltic Sea announced that he had ordered the area surrounding the leaks to be suspected gross sabotage. Prosecutor Mats Lawanskvist L-J-U-N-G Q-V-I-S-T Youngvist noted during his announcement that he cannot go into details about the investigation process. I understand the great public interest. We, were, we are at the beginning of a preliminary investigation and I therefore cannot go into details about which investigative measures we are taking, he said. Meanwhile, the Swedish Coast Guard has stated that ships, divers, fishing vessels, underwater vehicles have been banned from going within 5.8 miles of the two leaks off the coast of Sweden. The Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines were damaged in four locations off the coast of southern Sweden and Denmark as a result of underwater blasts that were caused by several hundred pounds of explosives. The damage reportedly caused significant methane leaks into international waters in the Baltic Sea. While authorities in Denmark said over the weekend that the pipelines had stopped leaking, the Swedish Coast Guard revealed on Monday that one of its planes had reported that the smaller leak in Nord Stream 2 had actually increased, though they did not provide an explanation as to why the leak had grown. Blame for the act of sabotage has been thrown around, with many asserting that Russia had damaged its own pipelines. Meanwhile, some have tried to blame the United States, citing President Joe Biden's vow February to bring an end to the Nord Stream pipeline if Russia invaded Ukraine. In a tweet, Polish MEP, former Foreign Minister Radek Sikoronsky, Sikoronsky shared an image of the leak and wrote, Thank you, USA. Oh, we're being blamed again for something else. The Polish MEP just... The United States sabotaged the Nord Stream Pipeline following Biden's promise to bring it to an end. What did Biden do that for? Speaking to Denmark's parliament as it recovered, reconvened on Tuesday, Danish Prime Minister Met Fedriksen called the pipeline attacks an unheard deed which we look at with the utmost seriousness. Why would they blame us? She went on to announce that the investigation is now underway. Preparedness in the energy sector has been increased and together with our partners and allies we're raising awareness of critical infrastructure. Oh my goodness. Why are they blaming us? Well, because of Biden's mouth. What is wrong with that man? You people that voted for him, God love you. Look what he's done to the country. Look what he's done to the people of the country. I mean, it's just, it keeps on and on and on. Well, let's go to the next one here. That just breaks your heart, don't it? Just breaks your heart. To think we're being blamed because of Biden's mouth and that could put us in a world of hurt those that voted for Biden don't they care or were they paid to vote for Biden you know Biden you know all kinds of thoughts go through your brain 
Well, breaking news, former presidential candidate leaves the Democrat Party. Tulsi Gabbard, a former candidate for the Democrat presidential nomination, said on Tuesday that she will no longer be affiliated with the Democrat Party. In a video posted to Twitter, Gabbard said, Gabbard said that the Democratic Party is run by illicit cabal, C-A-B-A-L, cabal of warmongers that encourages discord and anti-white wokeism. Well, I might agree with her. I can no longer remain a member of today's Democrat Party because it is completely controlled by an enlisted cabal of warmongers who really are driven by cowardly wokeness, who separate us by rationalizing every issue and fuel anti-white bigotry, who deliberately attempted to subvert our God-given freedoms that are established in our Constitution, who are unfriendly towards persons of faith and spirituality. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party that is now under the control of the warmongers driven by cowardly wokeness. Gabbard slammed the party earlier effort to stop funding the policemen and its response to the crisis along the border between the United States and Mexico. She also accused the party of bringing the country closer to nuclear war. Yes, yes. She stated that she was a supporter of a government that was of the people, by the people, and for the people. Unfortunately, neither does the Democrat Party. Instead, it is a symbol of a government that is of, by, and for those at the very top of society. Now, I am making an open invitation to all of my fellow Democrats who value independence and common sense to follow me out of the Democratic Party. If you have reached the point where you can no longer stomach the course that the so-called awake ide ideologies of the Democratic Party are heading our country, then I encourage you to join me. Gabbard has been quite critical of the Democrat Party, saying that they promote open borders, stoke the racial tensions in the United States. She went on to further condemn the administration of President Joe Biden's approach to the war in Ukraine then has put the country on a collision path with nuclear-armed Russia. She said that this war has put that country on a crash course with Russia. She's right, isn't she? She is so right. Everything she said is right. My, oh my, oh my. Has China inflated, infiltrated the U.S. real estate industry to conduct espionage? Espionage? Leftist MS NBC hosts smears con conservatives as anti Jesus. Biden says America may be nearing a very slight recession. Can Trump bring back this canceled American holiday? China reaction to new export restrictions from the U.S. Leaked Biden makes secret pledge. And I had a video on this on Al Sharpton regarding to 2024. I tell you people, I just don't know. I really can't tell you. Well, that was a short video also. Let's see what else I can bring up here. I'll tell you, I did uh, some here, you know. Uh, <laughs> Biden's official highlights dark side of electric vehicle manufacturing process. Even as President Joe Biden and the other prominent Democrats tout or tote, T-O-U-T, 
electric vehicles as a way to diverse from fossil fuels, the fedgling industry presents a few troubling problems that propominents frequently ignored. The propominents ignored. For starters, some experts note that the factors such as mining for precious minerals to make massive batteries and producing electricity needed to charge them combined to make electric vehicles even worse for the environment than gas-powered cars. An even more insidious aspect of the process, according to none other than the high-ranking Biden administration official, is the use of slave and child labor in one critical aspect of the industry. Really? Oh my, high-ranking Biden administration official is the use of slave and child labor in one critical aspect of the industry. Oh my. A Bureau of Internal Labor Affairs Under Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Thea Maya Lee, wrote in a recent report, China's use of forced labor and polysilicon produ production a key put in solar panels, and the use of child labor in the Dem Democratic Republic of the Congo for the mining of the cobalt as an input in lithium-ion batteries are two of the issues her agency is committing, committed to addressing. Furthermore, the Department of Labor released estimates that roughly 40,000 miners as young as six years old, are being forced to mine for cobalt. Oh my God. Often working in tight spaces underground without proper safety equipment or procedures. Child laborers face serious risk of energy or injury or death, the agency reported. Although Congolese laws prohibit miners from working in mines, the Labor Department determined that due to lack of enforcement of labor laws, widespread poverty, and a growing global demand for cobalt, children continue to work in the dangerous conditions mining this critical mineral. Six years old. A six-year-old child. Oh, Jesus, God. The nation is currently the source of roughly 70% of the entire world's cobalt supply. According to the Labor Department's data, Chinese firms own, operate, or finance most of the DRC's cobalt mines. Despite concerns about human rights abuses and carbon emissions related to the production of electric vehicles, Biden continues to push the technology. Democrat governors back plans to prohibit the sale of gas-powered vehicles in the coming years. At the North America International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan last month, the president proclaimed, the great American road trip is going to be fully electrified. And it shows him in an electric fancy car. Well, in so many words, you know where he can take that electric car and shove it. I'll be back. God bless you. I found my button. <laughs> my cam button. God bless you and you are a blessing. I'll be back.